Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you like more cartoon news and shenanigans, I'd ask you to please subscribe to my channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you very much for that, guys. Today, I have to give a very, very special shout out to Cartoon Art. This is a fellow that always comes in my comment section and my live streams. And he likes to post random words sometimes. I don't know if it's a younger kid or what the heck's going on with this guy. Uh, maybe it's a girl. I don't even know. Uh, but <laughs> they like to throw random words into the wind sometimes. And this time it actually mattered. Uh, so they said, I, I made a video about King of the Hill coming back. Yeah, it's finally coming back. It's actually been confirmed by Mike Judge. I made a whole video about it. You guys can go watch that video if you like. It's on my channel. Just go find it. Pretty recent video. Um, and he goes and posts Kid Cosmic Season 3. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, Kid Cosmic, is it out? I'm like, what What the heck? Didn't Season 2 just come out like a couple months ago? <laughs> you know, so I, I post like, I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I go and look it up. I find a trailer. Turns out there's a trailer. I did thank him. I, I, I did want to thank him. So I did say thanks for bringing it to my attention. But yeah, boom, right here. We're here on the official Netflix Futures page. Turns out a couple weeks ago on January 13th. Now, I've been sick for a little while. You guys could still probably hear it. I'm a little nasally. Uh, I've got a pretty bad cough also. I, I, I had to take some of these special cough drops here. I don't know if you guys see. <laughs> but yeah. I just took a cough drop, so hopefully I can record this video without going ballistic and coughing. But Netflix Futures has this trailer, and, I, you know, it's pretty exciting. Actually, I'm looking right here, Kid Cosmic Season 2 trailer. I actually did a reaction to that one also, uh, and that actually came out five months ago. Five months ago. That's not even that long ago, guys. Five months ago. That was like what? Like freaking... Was that June or July? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, August? June, July? Oh, yeah, I think that was like August or something, right? Like August? We're in January now? Yeah, something like that. Some, no, wait, maybe even June, July, August, September. It could have been September. That actually makes more sense. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so ne you know, Kid Cosmic, it's not been that long. It left on a cliffhanger. I, I don't want to spoil it. I, I, I Even though I kind of spoil, you know, <laughs> I have a review of season one and season two, and I watched both these trailers and reacted to them. But like, I guess I don't want to spoil it just in case you guys are not caught up and you've never seen Kid Cosmic. Great show. You got to check it out. But um, yeah, it kind of leaves off with like, uh, I can't, how can I not spoil it? I, I guess I have to, okay, spoilers. Uh, the, what was his name? Ergon, the, the Erodius? Erodius, that's, that's what it was. Okay, Erodius. Um, uh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, Erodius, right? Yeah, he's this giant planet that like eats and destroys a bunch of things. And basically he's been absorbing all of these like alien planets and stuff. And... He, it crashes with earth, but they stop it just in time. But what happens is all of the power stones of Erodius fall down to the ground. And now everybody on earth has access to the, to the power stones. This is going to be crazy. So yeah, I had to spoil it. I'm sorry. It was a really good spoiler or uh, it's a really good story here. Uh, so I, I'm pretty hyped for this trailer. Uh, I can't believe this only got 85,000 views. I thought this, this was so hype. I, how could the, we got to read this. We got, <laughs> I was pretty hyped for this. I don't know. I guess, uh, not as many people, uh, are aware of how good kid cosmic really is. Kids superheroes dreams come true as the local heroes become earth's greatest champions. But is something amiss with this ridiculously awesome adventure? Season three of kid cosmic is available on Netflix. February 3rd, February 3rd, wait a minute, 24, today's the 24th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we're 10 days, we're 10 days away from this show releasing, holy shit, uh, didn't realize it was coming this quick, okay, so we gotta watch this, we got to watch this pretty quick, you know. Um, this is a shame I didn't catch this earlier. I would have liked to promote it and talk about it more. Uh, we got to watch it. We're going to watch it right now. I'm going to hit play. We're going to turn it. We're going to flip it around so we don't get copyright claimed. 
Uh, by the way, guys, I actually filed a cl- uh, so I did a I watched the Cuphead trailer and I got copyright claimed and I actually fought the copyright claim. I never did this before. I usually submit anytime I get copyright claimed. I usually cut it out of my. I you have to trim it. Uh, I decided no, I'm gonna fight it. I actually won all the copyright claims. I was like shocked. I was like, what the heck? So yeah, the Cuphead show didn't uh, didn't beat me in the copyright claim. So I I I can monetize that video when I hit a thousand subs. So that was wild. Uh, so let's uh, anyway. Nobody cares about this, but. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit, but yeah, I beat Cuphead uh, in the copyright claim. A- anyway, let's just goddamn watch this thing. Um, I'm very interested to see where we're going with the story. Whoa. Can you get a real headquarters? The Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Can you get to awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, they're all... Oh, the whole team is here. Like, I thought it was just going to go back to the original five, where it was like... Tuna fish and Rosa and uh, what was the uh, Papa? Is this Papa G? Yeah, yeah. And then you got Kid Cosmic and Portal Girl. Oh man, what <laughs> what the heck is Portal Girl's outfit? She's where is that like earmuffs? What does she have there? Oh, oh, that's her hair. What the? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Why is she wearing fuzzy earmuffs? That's actually her hair. Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Portal Girl. Now, uh, okay, I have issues. One of my biggest criticisms of season two was, oh, uh, God. Okay, Mo and, or what's her name? Joe Flo. I, I don't even know. Which one is it now? Flo, Joe, Joe and Flo, I think, right? Joe. This is Joe and her mother is Flo. Yeah, she's the restaurant owner. I'm pretty, is that the name? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Joe. That's her. She her name is Joe p- slash Portal Girl. Um, the show is called Kid Cosmic, and we literally spent the entire literally she basically they might as well just called it Portal Girl the show because uh, Kid Cosmic was barely in his own show in season two. That was not good. I really hope they don't go back to a Joe Flow show. <laughs> that rhymed, and that's disgusting. Uh, yes, I do not want to see any more of this b- bullshit with Joe and her mother and uh, stop. Just do more. Focus on the team. Focus on the whole team. Uh, now, there are a lot of characters here. I don't remember like half of these characters' names. I got to be real. Uh, Kid Cosmic liking the outfit. Really liking the outfit. So he finally gets to fly. Uh, one of the big jokes of the past season is he had like slime powers the entire time. Is that Mo? Wait a minute. Does... Is that uh, she has the slime powers? Is that Mo right there with the slime? I don't even know. Um, there's that one dude. Is he the chef? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, th- we have the biker people. Yeah, they're in there too, I think, somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, there's that girl. She has the running powers. Tuna fish with the prophecy powers. Elder G with the, sp- uh, what is he? He has the clone powers. Rosa has the growing powers. Rosa's parents have the fire and the ice. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Uh, I can't remember this guy's name. I got to be honest. What was his name again? Ah, there's too many characters on this show. I can't remember all of them. The alien guy. Um, uh, what was it? It was, uh, I don't know. I, I can't tell you guys, but, uh, what powers does he have? Electricity? What is, I, I can't remember. Um, most of them are pretty obvious. I just don't remember. I, I guess he has the electricity or something. Uh, he has the multiple arm power. Uh, the, the guy in the back left here with the pink outfit, he has the stretchy one and that's basically all of them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the blue power. No, wait a minute. The blue power was the one where it, uh, reflects, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was the girl in season two where she would take all the hits and it would reflect the energy back at them. Yeah, I think that's what he has there. Uh, he still doesn't have legs. He's literally using a Segway, so I guess he's never getting his legs back. Jesus. Um, <laughs> you would think they would give him the multiple arm ones so he could like walk on his like you know second. This purple guy here should switch with him. Uh, I think that that needs to happen. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go. That, so that's pretty cool. I like the team here. I'm liking the costumes. Uh, they all have their own little symbols and everything too. So that's interesting. And Tuna has this kind of like prophecy ancient cat vibe going on. Really digging that. Really digging that. Okay. Excelsior. 
Stan Lee? <laughs> no. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Oh, I just remembered. Uh, Kid Cosmic has the gravity flying one. Oh. How are we not dead? <laughs> no, there's no way she'd hit the moon. Oh god, Power Rangers. Megazord. Oh shit, he's back. <laughs> Why would he be the villain? That's ridiculous. So once again, kid, there's something important I gotta tell you. I had to step in. Tremble before the undead reign of Queen Telekinete. Telekinete. You know about the secrets? Oh wait, wait. Does kid? Oh, kid Cosmic has fourteenth stone. Fourteenth stone? I thought Kid Cosmic had gravity. Oh yeah, was it telekinesis? Oh yeah, it was telekinesis. That's right. He was lifting everything up and down. You know the cats always land on their feet thing is a myth. It's, a it's actually not though. <laughs> you could look up videos about squirrels and cats. Cats they they don't always land on their feet, but they have like a certain body mechanism that like I've seen videos on it. Okay. Anyways, anyways, hold on. Let's talk about this for a second here. So Kid Co sorry guys, I, I forgot. I totally for I, I don't know why. First I thought Kid Cosmic had flying powers. No, that's wrong. Then I thought he had gravity. No, that's also wrong. I actually he actually has telekinesis. I'm sorry. That was his powers. I don't know where the heck I was going with this, but uh let's rewatch some of this again and uh get a better vibe here, just so I don't interrupt again. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Her head just hits the moon. Get out of here. With Earth's most elite heroes at the helm. Okay. That is so cool. You alien loving freaks just had to drag your weird evil space powers back here. Affecting the whole earth. So once again. Kid, there's something important I gotta tell you. I had to step in. I wanna get a better look at that. What the heck was that? Uh robots? What the heck? Uh, this one has ice. This is like some kind of ice thing. I I don't know who is that. Is that Joe or is that Kid Cosmic? I don't know. Uh, are we find Are we gonna find out more about his parents? What's going on here? I'm I'm not honestly. Uh, Papa G said, "Kid, I have something I gotta tell you." Hmm. I I don't know what this could mean. I I don't keep up with the comic books. Uh, or so is it graphic novels? One of the two, right? But uh. Interesting shit, man. Interesting. I, gotta tell you. I had to step in. Tremble before the undead reign of Queen Telekinete. Yeah, characters like this always just end up being one episode wonders. Uh the main villain is probably gonna be the red beard guy. That that guy we saw or the government guy from season one. Uh he's gonna be the main villain, looks like. Uh this character. I, I would actually prefer if this telekinete or whatever the heck. Uh, yeah, this character should be the next big villain. That would be pretty cool. A giant mummy invasion? That's not something you see, like, every day. You know about the secrets? We can't let him know I figured it out. Let's go get that. What the heck? Wait a minute. I didn't even see this the last time. What was that? There's, like, an... Who is that? Is that, like, Papa G when he was a kid? Are they going in Papa G's memories? I, I don't even know what the heck's going on. This is a very this is gonna be an interesting season. I'm I'm, I'm gonna like this. Let's go get that 14th stone. Go! Yeah, 14th stone. How is there not like a million stones? Yeah, there, there's a lot to take in there. there <laughs> there's just a lot to take in there. Holy crap. Um, very exciting, though. I can't believe this is just a couple days away. Wow. Uh, we don't have to wait very long. They usually do, what, like eight or ten? I can't remember. Is it ten episodes or 
So it, it might be eight episodes. I can't remember. Um, but wow. Wow. There's a lot to take in here. I, I'm just confused though. <coughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. At the end of season two, did the planet not crash into Earth? Like, it didn't crash. It, like, it, it, they blew it up before it, like, crashed. But all of the stones rained down to Earth. How the hell are, isn't, like, everybody a superhero now? I'm so confused. Only this team, this ragtag team that we've, like, I thought, like, everybody on Earth was going to, like, steal the stones and, like, we were going to see all kinds of criminal activity. So th they went in a really weird direction here. So yeah, I, I thought also, I thought that there was going to be like millions of powers. It's all, it's like, what do you mean? 14th power stone. Um, that's unusual. Uh, the entire planet was destroyed though. I don't get it. <laughs> the entire planet, this giant planet that was stealing powers from like every civilization literally had power stones all inside it. It, it gets destroyed before it hits the earth, but all the gemstones rain down. There must be millions of different powers. How could there only be 14? That makes no sense. Uh, I'm not really happy about the direction they took here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this one. I, I guess I got to watch it, but something about maybe in my head, I just like fantasized it would go in a, a much weirder direction. Like I said, I thought everybody on earth was going to have like powers or like I thought, or maybe the government rounded them up and said that they were toxic or yeah, that's uh, okay. I could buy that. If, if the people, uh, yeah, yeah. If they made an excuse to the people of the world and said like, turn in any of the gemstones, you fire power stones, turn in the power stones because they are rate, they're toxic and they're radioactive. So like everybody, not ev the good people would turn them in. But then I guess the criminals, so, so that, that could be a great story set up, right? Like maybe like the mafia has their own like set of like 14 or 13 or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I don't know the, the story it's going in a weird direction. We, we did see a power stone. How the heck would a random ancient, like what was her name? Telekinesa or something. Um, how the hell would that happen, right? So one of the power stones must have fallen in like a pyramid or something. I don't know. Uh, where was that scene again? Yeah, here. What was this character's name? I, I don't even know. Telekinesa or something? <laughs> I don't know. But look, she clearly has a power stone there. She has the, the green one. She's the one Kid Cosmic has, the uh, the telekinesis stone. Um, I just don't understand. Like that must have fallen into the pyramids or something, right? Like how... How the heck, like, did somebody go put that there? I, <laughs> uh, are we about to find out that there was actually, this is the second time that, like, stones came to Earth or something? I don't know. Papa G seems to allude, like, we see this, like, flashback. Uh, we do see a flashback with maybe that's a younger Papa G. So maybe there were power stones in the past. And this room, I'm just trying to decipher like the plot here, but uh, maybe this room was like the previous Power Stone owners that like never got to use these costumes. I have no idea. This is my best guess that there were like pr a previous set of stones. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. You guys got to let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Uh, and, uh, I'll talk to you guys after, especially after I watch this, when it comes out on February 3rd, uh, we'll do a live stream. We'll talk about it. Everybody's got to watch this one and we'll, we'll all talk about it afterwards. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, really appreciate it. If you subscribe, trying to make it to a thousand and that's going to be it folks. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye.